As I come to the end of my mandate as European Union Ambassador to Nepal, it's the time to reflect on the past three years and the many experiences that I have enjoyed here. I have to say I was appointed as Ambassador here at very interesting times. We had 2017 general elections at central government, provincial government and local level which resulted in a majority government with uh, very stable prospects for the next five years. We also, of course, had increased uh, cooperation between the European Union and Nepal with annual Joint Commission high-level dialogue meetings and now, as well, high-level exchanges at the level of Foreign Minister. It has also been a difficult period due to the most recent COVID crisis. I think there isn't a country in the world that has not suffered in some measure due to this crisis. But I think Nepal has borne a difficult burden. I would like to commend the government on the response they have put together, particularly in trying to assist vulnerable and to plan the economic recovery. And I wish Nepal all the best in this. It has been a pleasure and a privilege for me to be ambassador to Nepal. I would like to thank the government, the Nepali people, and also my fellow ambassadors and colleagues in the development world who provided such tremendous cooperation and support.